The shutdown of the Tomco Veneer plant in Sweet Home is a conflict between a small Jippo mill and a big international union. Mill owner Amos Horner says he cannot compete with large corporations if the union has a say in business decisions. We cannot operate in an environment that, that takes the decisions for action away from us. Does the union do that? Well, all they got to do is call a strike. But the International Woodworkers of America make it clear they are not in the business of signing substandard contracts. Local business agent Don Guerin says Horner would be happier in a southern right-to-work state. Then he could get all the cheap labor he wants, fire who he wants, hire who he wants. Uh, we'll just do whatever he wants to, period. He's very anti-union. In fact, I would classify him with Adolf Hitler. <laughs> Union and mill owner are obviously far apart, with the workers in Sweet Home caught in the middle. Tomco employees receive slightly less than workers at large corporate mills, but these employees say they're satisfied and would rather be working than waiting for a union contract. I think that the union has mishandled and misrepresented us, the people. We have requested them to, to do our bidding. We told them what we wanted. We signed petitions where 80% of the crew requested things. And, uh, our wants and our desires don't seem to matter to the union. Bud Barron has led the effort to get rid of the union, but he found that labor laws prevent decertification for at least a year after a union is certified. We're stuck and in bondage to the union for one full year. Uh, you can impeach a president, you can recall a law that's in conflict with the Constitution, but you can't get free from the union. In response to their plight, Barron's group has proposed several changes in labor laws. Support is far from unanimous among Tomco workers. Some, like Kevin Dick, support the union strongly. But pro or con, all of Tomco's employees are out of work. I just know that I'm out of work and I'm not getting any money right now. I need a job. And Amos is the only one who can open the mill up. This is Bill Bradbury reporting from Sweet Home, Oregon.